come and do this show, and it was the deal where the headliner was going to provide the opening act. And so at some point, a couple weeks out, they said, okay, and the opener will be the Kevin Montgomery band. And I went, okay, I'm sure this will be fine. And Kevin and his guys pulled in and like a van, and I believe you had driven down from Minnesota for this gig. Yeah, probably. And if memory serves, they were paid like a hundred dollars. Yeah, it's pretty bad. It was really bad. Yeah. But <laughs> at that time, that got us gas too. Yeah. Yeah, this was not three dollar and fifty cent a gallon <laughs> gas. It was cheap, you know, two dollar. What even that? Probably yeah, bought something. So right off the bat, I'm thinking, okay, here's a guy who really wants his people to hear his music and is very passionate about what he does, and it, and he was and remains that way. Um, Stupidly. <laughs> well, you know, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that. Um, but I would be surprised if Robert Earl asked him to join them for many more dates because they pretty much blew him off the stage. <laughs> now, I don't know how much you know about the way opening acts are set up, but generally their decibel levels are lower and. You know, you, you, you want somebody that's going to be good, but not better than you. And I don't know if you had any additional dates with them if you stayed on tour. I had, we had one more in Lawrence, Kansas, okay. actually. And, uh, and I, I really love Robert Earl Keane. He's great. But I enjoyed the Kevin Montgomery band so much more than, than Robert's performance. Linda. And Linda, too. <laughs> yes. Oh, Linda thank also. you. Thank you. Um, Dirty man, you. Yeah, I'm go. trying to hold still now. Don't make me laugh. Thousand years, but ain't that long. And the sunset sun. 